I, I am an actor who happens to know how to cook. Cooking, I found it so relaxing. And I wondered why. That's really the reason. It's just home. I just enjoy doing this. I hope it shows. Mm -hmm. And I just want to take you along to the, to, for the ride. I have been waiting for this day, was so excited when we confirmed this interview with Top Chef Amateurs. <laughs> Lorenzo Beronilla. Nia Beronilla. <laughs> Beronilla. <laughs> However you want it, you got it. He flew in from New York <laughs> to be with us. My pleasure. It's beautiful here. I might stay for a little while. So, uh, publicist, uh, hold all my calls. <laughs> <laughs> you're always welcome anytime. Lorenzo, I am so, we are so proud of you. You know, you're, Thank um, you. so what a journey you've had to Ooh. Top Chef Amateurs. It is. Um, a spin-off. So it's the first season that's happening right now. It premiered July 1st. Your episode is, is airing when? This Thursday at 9.30 on Bravo TV. Some of you will find his face very familiar because you may have seen his YouTube videos. What? 45 million views? Yes, 45 million views. Oh my and climbing. God. Oh my gosh. You're not even a chef. You're not a chef chef. No, no right. we're a Filipino. We are always around food. So we have big families, so <laughs> we're always in the kitchen. Well, made to be in the kitchen, they'll right. force us. So I always just was helping. I and love that. That's how it started. Mm -hmm. So whenever I find opportunities to be on a commercial or some type of a shoot, when there's cooking involved, of course I'd be f very comfortable. So typically I would get that shoot. Okay. So that's how I kind of found my way into the cooking world. I was always booked as a chef. One day, uh, Epicurious just had a, a gig out there for a pilot series. Mm -hmm. I said, sure, why not? It went viral in, in a week. For you, <laughs> what do you think was relatable that made it go viral? As you can tell, I'm, I'm a little goofy. <laughs> I think people think I'm their brother or their an uncle that they've known, non-threatening. I don't want anything from you. I just want to eat some good food. I think it's a laugh. The laugh <laughs> and my, the smile my, my you can thousands of laughs. It can't you can't escape it. You're also a voiceover yes. actor. Yeah, I do. And that's why, well. like, you're multi-talented. <laughs> um, and I'm Pinoy. What a respect. <laughs> <laughs> so what I find fascinating about you, among many other things, is you're now doing well as a chef and as an actor none of which you've had formal training for. No, I'm enjoying myself. I'm not trying to act like anybody else. If they're not gonna want to book me because who I am, <laughs> right. I don't think I want to be booked right. because you need to be very comfortable in your skin. Be authentic. Yes. Right? Be yourself is that advice from Lorenzo. But you know what? We're also gonna get a lot of flip tip, flip tip, from the book. Home Cooking with Lorenzo. It's sold everywhere. It's sold on Amazon online. It's made for the avid chef. It's also made for the novice chef. But uh, try it. It's a lot of fun. I really just put my heart and soul into it. But more so, I just told a story of how I grew up and I'm sharing it through food. I love it. And you know, it can also be a good gift. You know, if you're having a party at home, yes. that can be like a good party favor. Yes. You send your, your uh, guests home with it. Right. Yes, go home with it. Exactly. So Amazon, everywhere, everywhere yes. books are sold, you can find. Let's do this, folks. Home cooking with Lorenzo. And that's what we're going to try to do now. Make it work very simple because I'm no chef, but Lorenzo is going to make a chef out of me yes. today, hopefully. Today we are making spicy Thai grilled jumbo shrimp. It's actually a take on a Filipino uh, food, camarón rebozado. Yes. Rebozado. 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 Yes. Basically, I love that. it's just calamansi and some pepper uh -huh. and just marinating it. But we're gonna juice it up right. and add some spiciness to it. So, is this menu? Is this? dish in the book. This is not in the dish. I wanted to do an exclusive for Yay. you here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start it. Okay. Okay. Well, basically we're starting with jumbo shrimp. For the marinade, what we're going to do, we're going to do a flip tip uh -huh. for calamansi, a lemon and a lime. Yay. So we're just going to juice. Really? I didn't know 
that. Yeah, so you so put them together, yeah. lemon and lime, and then it tastes like calamansi. It does. Oh, it really, Let me really try. does. You tell me. You this would is, know more than I. This is my role. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing my fingers. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, easy, right? Does yes. it matter which one you put in first? Absolutely not. You Yay. can mix and match and go crazy. Oh wait, I put the yes. brown sugar. Yes, yes. Okay, good. And then that is now wrong. I... <laughs> 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 Start again. <laughs> oh my goodness. So oh, here's right a quick here. flip All tip. Right. Okay. If whenever you're doing, uh, when you have to do like macerated, uh, uh, garlic. Okay. You kind of put some sand in it, and of course, my sand is salt, and it helps mm. uh, mash it up. Oh, okay. But you don't really have to do this since this is just going to be a marinade. But if it was going to be in a sauce, right. I would want it smaller. Mm. Why don't you mix on up there, Brenna? <laughs> Ooh, let's make it a little spicy. And okay. just separate it in there. See, love it. Yeah. Okay. Now, the reason we did this now is we have to time it. Okay. You don't want it. Remember I said that you don't want uh, the shrimps to be in these marinades too long or else you get rubbery. Even if it's jumbo shrimp, we just want to be mindful of the time. Okay, remember just five, uh, six to seven minutes? Five to six minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it gets too rubbery and you have to flip, right? Okay. Yes. All right. And now? You are truly a cook because you mix better than anyone I Aww. know. <laughs> Can you now hire me as your assistant? You got it. I'll be your assistant. You got it. Okay. Check your calendar. All right. I'll fly to New York. <laughs> now, a little flip tip. See what I'm doing here? How they're spooning? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like, uh, that's what I used to do when we were little. <laughs> Sleeping with my... Brothers yeah. and sisters, spoon. we would spoon. Why would you spoon? We would spoon. This is spooning so they don't curl up so much. Ah. It's controlling the curl. Right. That's one. And I would spoon my brothers and sisters because I was very scared. <laughs> <laughs> the youngest of the how baby, many are you? Five. Oh, wow. So flip tips are yeah. tips in cooking for Filipinos. And yes. that's what we're learning and that's what you're going to learn yes. when you get the book of Lorenzo. That is correct. Who should buy your book? Goodness. You know, my book is really, it's geared for everybody. Right. Because first of all, if you're a very good chef, you cook all the time. Right. You don't know these flavors. Yes. I, I know you don't know these flavors. No, I don't. And <laughs> but, I <laughs> but if you are a just... A not so good cook or mm -hmm. somebody who wants to try, it's that easy. Right, it's right. It's easy to follow directions. Simple. I make right. it very simple for you. And full of because it's home cooking. It's not intimidating. It's very simple yes. to follow. Yes. The measurements are exact. Yes. Right? I hate it when you go and do like a cooking thing where you don't know what they mean with the measurements. <laughs> yes, and you know right. what else I hate? There are some cookbooks that don't actually have the finished product, what they look like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, the ingredients that are difficult to find, yes. right? Yes, yes. Work with or what the you terms. have. Yeah. Work with what you Got have. Got it, okay. Because if you have the main things, onion, tomato, yes. garlic, You're... that's Benoit. Right. Hello, right. you've got the right ABCs right. already. So this has already been cooking. Look how easy that is, see? Yeah. This is uh, flamingo and, pink. And you, you shouldn't overcook yes. a shrimp. And you, this, the beautiful aroma coming off this. My goodness gracious, you guys, I can't even. Janelle, you're on, so. Like this, all right? All over it, all over it. Each one, bum, 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 just keep going. You can do this right before they sit down. Ah, it's a little appetizer. Right. You, you can literally yeah. present it like this. Yay, look at, this. look at that. Pretty, 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 pretty. We made that. We right. did it. Yes. Goodness, drum roll. Delicioso. Mm-hmm. Lorenzo, of course, we can't talk about Philippine excellence without talking about John. <laughs> Jollibee, tell me, what's your earliest memory of Jollibee? I live upstate New York. There's no Jollibee, but there's two Jollibees in the city. I heard of it. Everybody had asked me, did you try this, try this? A friend actually was on set with me and left, and I asked him what he was eating, and he had Jollibee. I said, I know, that's the that's Pinoy. That's uh, that's my people. And I was like, let me, let me see. 
And I literally took a piece and I said, oh, forget the kernel. I mean, <laughs> I, the kernel is gone. Yeah. So it's so nice. It ended up, they opened a Jollibee in my, literally when I used to take the bus, you come out of the bus, Jollibee is right there. So I Jollibeed every day. <laughs> What's your favorite item on the menu? Well, look at this crispy, crispy chicken. Enjoy, but you know, hello peach pie with the ugh. But the chicken, I love the spicy chicken. So I like the combo. This is a combo of two. This is the spicy, and I know because it's darker, and it has a nice flag to let you know. <laughs> but I love the uh, I love the just the regular chicken. Now it's funny because in reality, I did Jolly Bee commercial. The process was fun, but the filming was amazing. Why was it amazing? Oh, I'm gonna get emotional. Dang it, why do I get emotional? I think uh, Jolly Bee's message is beautiful. You know, family joy. Gosh, sorry. <laughs> I love their stories. I love their commercials. So the only commercials I've ever seen that were actually short, beautiful stories, well written, beautifully filmed, and just the the message is always so deep and always so family oriented. And so to be a part of that was like. <laughs> Thank you, Jolly Bee, because you not only have beautiful food. Chicken joy all the way. I got to really just expand and have fun with the part. I had to go through every emotion for every day, and I hadn't had that much fun on a, a set in so long. They weren't lines, it was moments. Okay. To see what really happens, you were hit with what everybody in the world was hit with. To see that little face who was really looking to me for, for some answers, for, for hope to be okay. When we hugged, it was almost like, wow, this is what everybody in the world is gonna feel, and I knew it. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm actually crying because it was wonderful. It was such a release for every, and I have to tell you, people on set were crying. Uh, we were feeling it the, the whole time. Uh, we were proud of what we were doing, and I was proud to represent Jolly Beat. <laughs>